I guess this doesn't really count as uh, the four days that it took to produce uh, Minister Sinister 3, but I still have to do a cover and uh, color it and get all the production ready and everything. So this morning I've uh, just started penciling out the cover. Oh, I've spent maybe 10, 15 minutes on it. I've got the pencils ready, ready to ink. I didn't really have a concrete idea other than I wanted to uh, show him sort of straddling a uh, an abyss of dark and light. So you can see I've divided uh, the picture this way with a, uh, a band of something energy. All the stuff up here is going to be black. So uh, again, like on the pages, I've got a very clear black strategy. And I'm going to use my gigantic brush for that. And we have uh, Timmy, Sinister, uh, Nell, who is Beth's counterpart in the anti-world. And what's uh, known, going to be known in issue four as Underpass Messiah. Looks a little bit like me, but that's uh, strictly uh, coincidental. And basically, he's a uh, guru, avatar, mysterious powered being who lives uh, under an underpass and why not so we'll come back when this is inked later probably in about 20 minutes and here we are maybe 10 or 15 minutes later with all the blacks thrown in with the gigantic brush and uh, it really forces you to um, think in terms of black you literally can't make a fine line so uh, what we're going to do next is go in with the uh, smaller brush and uh, fine tune uh, some of the outlines and things. No, it didn't take too long. Now the uh, cover is finished. At least the inking is finished. Now we're going to scan it. And uh, do, do a coloring job on it. I've decided to use a uh, font for the logo. First two issues uh, had hand-drawn logos, so I'm going to uh, change that policy. Hey, it's the only cover, in, uh, only comic in the world where you got lots of garbage on the cover. Oh, got to erase some pencils there. Boxes of old liquor bottles, paper, cigarette butts, cans. Yeah, so I'll be back when it's colored. Zippity doo I've got the whole damn thing finished. Now here's the cover, and uh, I've colored it in Photoshop, and gosh darn, that took a while. There are a lot of layers here, kids. A whole lot. As a matter of fact, if I make them go bye-bye, oh, let's see, it gets pretty complex. Now look, here's the uh, here's the cover, and here's a general tint over the whole thing. Oh well, now you see the orange layer. You know we got glow on effects, we got shadow effects, we got um, half tone screen effects, all kinds of stuff. Now watch what happens. I'll put in the uh, the overall blue tone and put the orange over it. Of course, orange is the opposite, kind of warms things up. Now, I also have a layer that glows, which is uh, all over the foreground here. Okay. There's a luminous quality. And this time on the cover, I just decided, you know, the hell with it. We're just going to use a font. And the font looks pretty good. In fact, it's the same typeface I'm using for the Tune magazine. Uh, how many layers are here? Oh, looks like about 20. So that's pretty complicated, and uh, this was a tougher one to color. Uh, I'm not sure why. It was fun to draw. It took about three times longer to color uh, than it did to draw.